new album titled Dear America, I decided to return to my native hometown of New York. Take the time to bless the ones who've done you wrong. I felt I needed to uh, ground myself in my home soil and uh, from that point grow like a tree into the story of what I want to say about uh, America and where we are and where we're going. Take the time to take a look at what you've learned. and I have been speaking about these sessions with this particular personnel for some time. To see the power of our words manifest in the way that they have has just been absolutely amazing. My dear friend and producer Glenn Scott has organized some fantastic sessions, including some legendary musicians. The great Eric Gales on guitar, fabulous Steve Jordan on drums, the phenomenal Tommy Sims on bass, guitars, vocals, the iconic emperor of the upright bass, Ron Carter, on a couple of tunes. Seems like the whole world, the whole world's got to be that coffee, you're fired up. Blues in the morning, blues all through the night. I went to see my doctor. And you were right about this thing, you know. This is not necessarily the kind of thing those guys are doing every day, so I'm sure it sticks out. Yeah. You can see the yeah. vibrations in there. Mm. If we let them play, they'd, mm. they'd probably go a whole day and just. You know, I know I heard it. So um, seems like the whole world, the whole world's got the blues. Oh man! <laughs> all right, all right. Really playing the song, brother. Yeah, a little bit more than that. A little bit more than that. <laughs> I've been fortunate in that my recent works have attracted quite a lot of attention. We got a Grammy nomination with the uh, Migration Blues album. It's gonna be alright. If we just walk in the love kingdom, it'll be alright. The title, Dear America, came to me in a kind of epiphany about what I really wanted to be saying with this record. I realized that many of the, uh, the themes have to do with the collective history that we share here in America that is actually a traumatic and bloody and cruel history that needs examining if we're going to solve some of the, the problems that still haunt us. Let's start facing the facts about Let's start teaching the truth about white and black. Let's start facing the facts about Let's start teaching the truth about Eric is, um, for me, a quintessential modern-day blues Heard a terrible story on the news this morning. Shook me so bad. Glenn Scott has been an encourager. The way we work is just like a hand in a glove. We really understand each other, not only musically, but spiritually, philosophically. And I think this is probably our best work yet. To have top of the line musicians, engineers collaborate on this record in New York has just been uh, musically wonderful but also spiritually um, affirming. 
Yeah, that's the one for me. It's nice, right? Some men crave gold, land and power. They sit on their throne. The closing track on this album is a, a song called Oneness of Love. And it's a duet that I share with a, a great singer. Her name is Lisa Mills. Uh, if you haven't heard her, I'm really going to be happy to uh, introduce her to you. As long as we're walking together, hand in hand, all I ever wanted is this treasure of devotion. This is not a protest album. This is a love album. This is a love letter to America. I never want to lose.